right, welcome back. Reactions as Aisha Buhari tells the world why she chose Nigerian clinic instead of traveling abroad for treatment. Unfortunately, the state house clinic at Asso Rock had not been functioning effectively. All right, and then to provide needed medical services to the first family and other government functionaries. All right, the news in details. First Lady Aisha Buhari has explained her decision to receive treatment at a private clinic when she rejected the idea of going to London, UK after falling ill. After falling ill, so to say, in the book Aisha Buhari being different, the First Lady narrated the state of the rock clinic at at the time all right and then according to aisha adjusani senior special assistant to the president on administration and women affairs authored the book which is a biography of the first lady another issue that stirred controversy was a statement on 9 october 2017 at a stakeholders meeting on reproductive maternal nutrition child advocacy and health and nutrition at the state house abuja in which she spoke about issues of national importance concerning health care services she found it appalling that when she fell ill she was advised to travel to london for treatment though she refused Unfortunately, the state house clinic at Asso Rock had not been functioning efficiently to provide needed medical services to the first family and other government functionaries. It was on this note that she condemned the management of the clinic, adding that the health center did not have the facilities to treat patients. According to her, she had to visit a private clinic after she discovered that the X-ray machine of the state house clinic was not working. She has been consistent in warning politicians against politicizing the issues of health and women empowerment, Sunny Road. Aisha's husband is currently receiving medical treatment in London and then as it is there's been a lot of reactions on to this and then according to what has been said that we said that why I chose Nigerian clinic instead of traveling abroad for treatment. Aisha Buhari has said that so far. Okay, well with reactions that we have that has been gathered, it has been said that well if you are ill enough to travel abroad would your wife be launching a book at home can it not wait what's the rush has this family not embarrassed themselves enough president Muhammad Bari can't even lead in his own home all right that has been taken according to olufemi owone koko you said that there is no need to say anything madam all right his blind supporters who love him more than you his wife have said there is nothing bad about medical tourism all right okay and then Odon chris is saying that please you and your children have benefited from the corruption going on now and it's in the past all right and then uh, you can't claim to be different when you and your children have enjoyed and still enjoying the system that you claimed to be different from so keep your preaching to those with no brains hypocrisy in display it seems like cluelessness and hypocrisy seems like the first family of the federation disease Asso Rock Clinic, which has a budget portion running in millions annually, is bad. Hmm. Okay, if it is, then what is all the budgeted money used for? 
the same aso clinic the same aso clinic good luck used with patients without going out for medical tourism since good years and all aisha who just returned from dubai who just returned from dubai to for medical tourism is to give excuse what stops her husband to fix the rot? Buhari, her husband, promised to stop medical tourism, but today he has diversified it. Okay, he has diversified this. Okay, Aisha goes to Dubai, Buhari to London, Yusuf to Germany. Where is the so called Buhari's integrity? All right, and then as it says, what, what kind of hashtag standard underscore lie is this coming out from this woman hmm. all right let me take it again according to habib olado he has said that in fact he has stated that what kind of hashtag standard underscore lie is this coming out from this woman a yoruba proverb says a sheep that moves around with dog will surely eat faces Gaba Shewu, Al Hajilai Mohammed, Femi Adishino, Lorette Oneche, and others. Hashtag liars in the presidency have infected this woman with lies. All right. <laughs> All right. And the Kaza said, I said that well, to allege as opposed to traveling abroad, she opted to be treated in a private clinic in Nigeria as if it were a big deal is to at the very least patronize us and insult our intelligence considering the fact that more than half of the citizens of nigeria do not have access to qualitative health care and facilities all right and then someone that spent months in dubai is telling us folk takes about nigeria health centers all right well no wala, there is God. All right, and then according to Vice Chuku, you said that okay, the state house clinic not functioning efficiently yet. Billions of naira were budgeted for it. Is there just one reason why Nigeria should continue to exist? Okay, <laughs> that is serious. All right, and then Omo Dudua Nation. Okay, Femi additional consoling Aisha Buhari will be back very soon. All right, and then that has been it. Okay. Hmm. All right, and then Clinton Ezekiel has said that if the imposter called Nigerian president is truly your husband, you would have for his return before launching your book. You would have for his return before launching your book. All right, well, I think the person tries to pass a message over there, but as it says, a lot have been said so far, my people, on this one. What more can we say? What more can we do? All right, we are praying for a better Nigeria, but majority of people have made up their mind that forget your prayers. We don't need that prayers. What we want is separation. We want to go. Pharaoh, let your people go. And that has been it on this one, my people. Meanwhile, let me have more take from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.